Then one day house theft, some 80 kg, 80 gram of gold missing in a rural house. We were going this fellow, I went and said I was searching, mode of entry, weapons used and, and how did they take it, where your fingerprint is there. The dog was inside trying to take the smell. He came inside, he looked at it and he used to speak Tulu. He took his phone, uh, he, talk, he spoke to somebody in Tulu and then he told me, sir, it is this fellow who did it. You tell that inspector to go lift that fellow. Uh, so, as a representative of people and civil servant, there was always an opportunity for you to uphold the constitutional values. So, then what made you to choose politics as your career? The same constitution made me to choose politics. Uh, frankly speaking, um, I think it is some Greek philosopher who said, the highest calling in, in public life is politics. That's the highest calling. That's why we call it as political science. Because there is science to the whole idea of politics. And uh, if you go on Google, you find a Greek philosopher who has written a book called How to Win Elections. He has given a science to winning an election. Thousands of years back he has written. And people like Plato at different points of time, they wanted to find out philosopher king. How to create a guardian who can rule our country very well. So they applied science to it. Take a child out, separate them from parents, teach them separately. Uh, and, and grow them up so that they become philosopher kings. So, so Greeks applied science to politics and that's why they call it political science. Whether it is working now or not is a different question. And for me, I am taking some extra time to answer this question because it's not an easy answer for me. Why policing and why politics? Why this shift after about nine and a half years? I remember day one in Labasna, the Lal Bhagadu Sastri Academy of Administration, when, the, when a batch like this, IAS, IPS and IRS, we all sit together, uh, foreign service, it's a three months course, we all have to do a combined course to get to know each other, uh, assimil cross assimilation. And there was an IPS officer who came and he was giving a lecture. He said, I know all of you guys are smart and you have cracked one of the toughest exams in India and of course many IITs are there, many IAMs are there, people from AIMS, some of the best institutes are there in that room. He said, the day one when you all get into your job, you think you are the smartest in the world. Because you have, you have aced the toughest exam and we are preparing you. But you have to understand, a constable is more smarter than you. That when the day you realize that, when that is the day your ego gets blown out. And that is the day you truly become a people's person. He gave an example. So I think he was allocated a cadre probably Bihar or Jharkhand. Uh, that point of time it is Bihar mostly. And uh, there was a case they were to hunt down a dacoit. Searching, searching, they couldn't find that guy. So one day they located, okay, probably this dacoit is coming to this house in the night. So immediately the young ASP, the person who was talking there, he was a young ASP then. He called his whole team, he made them to stand, parade, he said left, right, center, stand in attention. He said, come on, we know the dacoit is going to this house, we are going to surround that house, we are going to get that dacoit. You know, we are very brash and very confident straight after training. And there was a constable who was trying to raise his hat. He was like, keep quiet. The other guy was trying to say, he was like, keep quiet. And this is the plan, let us all go surround the house, let us do. They surrounded the house, 12, 12 hours nobody came out, 14 hours nobody came out. Then this young ASP said, time to barge in. I am going to barge in and anybody who is willing to come behind me, come. So they broke the door, he went inside, there was no duckite in the room. And just then from the behind, that person put a country made gun to his head because he was standing behind that door. When he barged in, he was standing behind the door, he put a country. So that is the time he realized, oh, there is somebody behind me. And it was a literal hand to hand combat. He said that I could realize the death in my eyes because the gun is there. And we were fighting with hand to hand. He shouldn't shoot me. And literally he had to chew his face. And the young ASP has to bite his face, nose, ears. He has to chew him to bring him under control. And later he was, he, because since he saw death in his eyes, after the incident, the roll call happened, everybody, the debriefing. And he asked the constable, what are you trying to tell me? You were raising your hand in the morning during the briefing. He said, no sir, what I was trying to tell is, when a person is inside that house, for natural call he has to come out. So let us wait outside and catch him. <laughs> this is a very simple thing. And so many fundas and training and hand-to-hand -hand combat and Krav Maga and all kinds of things they teach you in NP. He said, look, you got to have human intelligence. The day you think you are getting human intelligence, that comes from society. 
that comes from keeping the ears and eyes and everything open all the senses and when you start picking up this cues from people that makes you a better person so i never i never forget that moment for me it was like an epiphanic moment it just opened my eyes it said look there is a native intelligence out and let us go chase it uh, same thing happened to me in a different context asp day 1 because once i tell the story and the shift only probably i can do justice to your question i had a fantastic driver young guy in asp udupi district karkala we had a tata sumo he will drive i'll be sitting in the front and i'll be panicking uh, maybe first week into police saying law and order that had lot of communal issues hindu muslim fight here and there and my driver would be driving and saying sir and oh, don't worry sir everything is taken care if you go there after the riot is over or in the middle of riot you will have five five people waiting for you from the hindu side 1 2 3 this person will be there from the muslim side 1 2 3 will be there they will be making this demand to you you will be saying this either guy will make this demand then you will say this sir problem solved i was like who is this fellow for everything he has got a solution so i was observing him for one week two week it was just repeating that pattern then one day house theft some 80 kg 80 gram of gold missing in a rural house we were going this fellow i went and said i was searching mode of entry or weapons used and on how did they take it very fingerprint is there the dog was inside trying to take the smell he came inside he looked at it and he used to speak tulu he took his phone uh, he talked he spoke to somebody in tulu and then he told me sir it is this fellow who did it you tell that inspector to go lift that fellow and i was like okay but that day night i called him to my i was staying in a small house i said come we'll have dinner chalo he said no no sir i am a constable i am not supposed to have dinner with you come here we will we will sit down let us have dinner together i said how do you know this how do you give me solutions for every bloody problem in the society and why are you a driver <laughs> he told me no sir i am a driver for 17 years same area i am driving i have seen asps like you three people <laughs> i have seen six dysps deputy superintendent of police not ips same rank deputy superintendent of police same issue happens in a cycle sir may this happens A rainy season the kite comes summer season riots come and i keep going i see the same pattern 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 then i know who would have done it so that day you wrong sir the that the hbt case hbt is house breaking theft i went inside i saw the same guy has done a similar one 6 years before <laughs> because he used one crowbar to open it and and that is the entry i said this is the guy so that was was something great for me because for me i felt when i wrote a book also after i left ips i dedicated it to the constables who whom i worked with me i said this book is dedicated to all the constables who are with me my dedication reason is i think somehow we allow our ranks and big big things that comes with life tomorrow you all will become very big some of the best in the world and people will be waiting outside somebody even to get appointments i think we all have to take your time and come but we just have to understand the guy who is standing outside the door he has got 100 times more native intelligence than us because even in a board room the guy who is opening that door he keeps seeing the co was mood coming in co was mood going out and he knows the small chit chat that happens outside he picks up everything over 10 12 years if you ask him he will have a board solution better than the board member sitting inside because he picks up in the in in the in the high tea they do they pick up in the people who come out and comment about what is happening the same thing for me so then for me the concept of rank ego i am somebody big i am superior i am rank wise thing then i started immersing myself more in the ground in the karnataka 9 years i resisted going to a city i said i don't want city i want rural area i served continuously in rural area small towns and uh, good people important people moment they posted me to a city uh mr kumar sami was the chief minister then he 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 told me you should come to the city to work enough of rural i resisted i said sir i am not a city guy sir you put me in city 50% of my time is protocol i have to go salute somebody receive them in the airport take them in the car wait outside when important meetings happen put me in rural he said no no yeah city land grabbing is happening you come the most uncomfortable timing for me was being in the city i was a deputy commissioner of police bangalore south very important area people love to go there but day one i hated big people all corporates i meeting those kind of people i'm meeting that young guy 
a guy who comes with the weighty ton comes to my office he'll say sir he has tried to plunder my land he has taken this he has taken that so those are the guys i was used to i had an open door policy as a superintendent of police anybody can just walk in and no questions asked the more or higher i went in the service i felt i'm just getting cut off with the people with whom i enjoyed working grassroots then in my mind i thought it's time to leave but i never knew what to do and uh, 2018 i went for a kailash pilgrimage 53 day trip no cell phones nothing cut out in the zone you are there and uh, away from technology it gave a lot of purpose to my life it said look take the risk people might think you are stupid and uh, leaving ips in 9 years when somebody ask you what do you want to do you don't even have an answer to say i want to do this so the transition happened so i want to do something else and politics happened so what i'm trying to say the shift is i always wanted to work in the ground that is getting continuously manifested from the college days go to tsunami be there be a part of nss clean some toilet build a compound wall outside a school so always hands on you put me in a room make me to do a meeting i'm totally uncomfortable so i can make it on record also as the bjp state president of tamil nadu i must have gone to the office maybe 50 days in the last 3 years i never go to office i never go to office i keep people i say you solve the problem send me reports send me notes tell me where i should go i tour like crazy and i am in yenman yenmakkal yatra which he was kind enough to mention so today i just finished 228 constituencies i am in the road for a continuous 6 months and i am in chennai only because we have a lecture here i immediately leave back to vilupuram and i am back there and uh, we have a conclusion in about 4 5 days time the reason i am trying to say is i find lot of joy in the ground because i see india transforming in my eyes i am seeing how, how the ground is shifting i see demography i see development i see all kinds of things in the ground for me i will comfortably do this you put me in a room you put me in some role i am totally uncomfortable i want to keep this going for the next many many years just be in the ground silently work build a party at the grassroots level so this was always the motivation maybe the job title might change i was a cop trying to solve some problem i am a politician trying to solve some problem but the concept of being in the root is always there from my college days that realization happened in the college sorry for the long answer but i thought i should be very honest and truthful to you but this is me